you have a 3D printer, you've probably experienced some issues with it. Anywhere from clogs to layer gaps to layer shift. There are a bunch of issues that you can deal with when 3D printing. And if you're making helmets, you're prone to experiencing those same issues. But what I want to teach you today in this video is that it's not the end of the world. There is a way to fix prints like this that have layer gap that just clogged at the end. These can be salvaged and can be made into finished helmets. So don't throw them out. I'll show you what you need to use and how to do it in this video today. So without further ado, let's get to it. As you can see here with my recent prints, I experienced not once but twice a clog at the end of my print, resulting in two helmets with rather large holes at the top. But like I said at the beginning of this video, do not worry, we can save that. Um, I also mentioned that layer gap is a thing. We're also gonna talk about how to address that as well. So the first step that you're gonna need to do is in your slicer, you're gonna kind of look at the, uh, the measurements. You can measure out how tall your print is with a ruler or a tape measure or something. And you're gonna try to pinpoint at what point the print failed. And you're gonna go and try to print out the remaining bit. So um, with some of these, I have eyeballed it. Um, and they worked out great. Some were a little bit off, but even if they're a little off, we can still work with that. So as you can see here, I went and sliced and printed out the remaining bit. And as you can see, they're not perfect, but they're close enough and I can work with that. So that's how you're gonna resolve the issue of the hole in the top. Um, once you've done that, the tools that we're gonna need to fix the rest of the issues, is first you're gonna need a filler Modeling paste or wood filler work great. You can use Bondo spot putty as well. You're gonna need some tape and you're gonna need a soldering iron. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the tape to secure the top piece that needs to be attached. Um, we're gonna make sure it's lined up nicely, tape it there. And then we're gonna use the soldering iron and on the inside, we're just gonna kind of melt the plastic together in little X's so it'll bind the helmet together, the top piece to the original print. And after that, we are gonna use the filler to then fill in the remaining bits and lines in between that need to be made flush along with the layer gap. And that is all you need in order to salvage these helmets. So as I just outlined, let's get to it and let's fix up these helmets. So now I have welded the piece to it. So as you can see, pretty, pretty strong. Um, as you can see in there, um, I wasn't able to do X's. Come on, focus. I guess it's not wanting to focus. I wasn't able to do X's because of the angle, but the idea is to pass the soldering iron tip just over the line to kind of melt the pieces together. So as you can see, I did that. This piece that got printed out was slightly bigger than what it needs to be. So I went and took the soldering iron and just like melted down that edge a little bit to make the filling and smoothing process a little bit easier. Cleaned up around here a little bit more. Um, and same with this. This one ended up being just a little bit too small. So I'll need to fill that in. Once again, cleaned up around these areas here. So they're welded together for a layer gap like this. If you want to reinforce it and do the X's just for strength of the, the print, you can do that. If it's not too bad, like this isn't that bad. I probably didn't need to do it, but I did it anyway, um, just to reinforce the print. You can do that, so that's always an option. But now essentially the next step um, with the gap, and as you can see with the little gap here, 
we're gonna be using the filler and we're gonna be pressing it into that area and filling it in. Um, after doing that, uh, you'll just continue normally. You're gonna remove the support and sand over the entire helmet and then start using your filler to fill in the layer lines. And from there, you're just gonna keep going as if it's a normal helmet until it's smooth to your liking. But essentially that's how you get um, the helmet to be salvaged somewhat and have that top piece attached. So um, next step is to fill in those gaps. There you go, and just like that, the filler has been applied. So now I will remove the supports and do an initial sanding with probably 80 or 120 grit sandpaper and just run that over the entire helmet. Um, if after running that and spraying some filler primer, you see that it still looks like there's an indent, you just repeat the same thing, try to add more filler to get it as flush as can be. So um, yeah, that's basically it. That's basically how you salvage um, a misprint and you'll be able to get it looking like a normal one and it will look great and it will save you on filaments because as you can see with these helmets that's probably a good 700 grams that I was printing with before it failed and I don't want to just throw that out. So this method can be used to salvage the prints and I can continue working on these like normal and have two finished phase two animated clone trooper helmets. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully that helped. And if you have any que questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.